Let's bring in Gene Hamilton, Executive Vice President and General Counsel for America First Legal. Gene, good morning to you. Oh, what a wild day in court. What is your assessment after day one of testimony from Fonnie Willis and all that transpired? Well, I think the American people could see the entire ordeal for themselves, and they could see exactly what you don't want to do as a prosecutor, and that's make a fool of yourself in front of a national televised audience. Look, the American people see right through this prosecution. They see what's going on here. There is a fundamental denial of due process that is occurring in this prosecution of the defendants in this case, because there are financial incentives that are created for the prosecutor and her love interest. And every time that the love interest gets paid, she benefits indirectly from in the form of trips and, and uh, things of that nature. And of course, this whole notion yesterday, she said, oh, well, I reimburse him in cash, cash only, cash only. Folks see right through that. She destroyed her credibility yesterday. So I don't know what she's gonna do today, and I don't know what the outcome of this case is going to be. But what I can say is that this case is a fundamental denial of due process for President Trump and for all the other co-defendants in that case. Yeah, the cash thing. You know, people are saying that it would be really tough to prove one way or the other. I guess you could look into ATM and bank transactions. Do you see the case going there, that maybe the judge might order an investigation into if she really did pay Nathan Wade back in cash? Well, look, I mean, it's, yeah, I suppose he could, depending on his analysis of the factors here, but ultimately it goes to her credibility as a witness and her credibility matching up with the testimony of Mr. Wade, uh, create a scenario in which, given that clip that you just played earlier, a reasonable jury or the judge himself could conclude that there is a problem here and that there is a conflict of interest and there is a denial of due process. Hopefully this case gets dismissed. If not dismissed, at the very least, the case needs to be uh, taken away from Fannie Willis and her love interest. So all of this starts up again today at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, what can we expect to take place today? Well, look, today, I guess we'll see if additional information comes out, additional key details. Uh, we'll see if there's an attempt to rehabilitate herself. We'll see what happens there. Um, but look, yesterday was an absolute disaster. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you have legal analysts on MSNBC admitting that's an absolute legal disaster that they've created, something shows you that there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. No matter what happens in this case, a lot of legal analysts are saying that because of everything that transpired yesterday and the way she handled herself, it damaged her credibility and future career. Uh, if you're interested in more courtroom dealings, you're in luck because a verdict is, is expected today in Trump's New York civil fraud trial. And this is the case where uh, the former president is being accused of inflating his income to uh, uh, inflating his wealth to secure better loans, and New York Attorney General Letitia James wants to fine Trump $370 million and ban him from doing business in New York. What can we expect to happen here? Well, I think that what we can expect to happen is that they will probably secure, at least at this level, the result that they want, which, again, constitutes weaponized government against a political opponent, against Donald Trump, and we'll see what happens after that. The, the key is going to be what happens on appeal throughout the New York court system. There is no way that this case survives. This case where no one was actually defrauded, yeah. everyone was satisfied, this whole case is built on a house of cards and it is going to eventually fail. Yeah, and there's also the hush money trial in New York where uh, the jury is going to be selected on March 25th, just a few weeks after Super Tuesday. And if convicted in that case, Trump can't pardon himself even if he becomes president because it's a state case. So there is a lot of trials going on and the stakes are very high. Gene, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Absolutely. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.